Hello, we're here at McIntyre's Hobby Shop in beautiful Burgoff, North Carolina. Uh, what we're going to do today is we are going to take one of High Tech's HS322 uh, H heavy duty servos and convert it for continuous rotation. When they come out of the box, you've got about a 45 degree, 45 to 60 degrees of play. When we're done, we will, we've got one already rigged up, keep going and going and going. Kind of like that annoying pink bunny from the 80s. <laughs> well, first thing we do, we pull off the arm or wheel and we remove the four screws in the bottom. Excuse me. More room up and in, I always say. <laughs> You know, one of these days somebody's going to figure out that I'm quoting Shrek. It's an actual ingenious idea. Oh yeah. That you came up with here. Oh yeah. Oh, I found you, uh, many uses. Yeah. Many, many uses for this. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are like what about fifteen dollar servos. Very high torque for 15 bucks. All right, we got our screws out, and we we don't do this. We don't take off the bottom. We take off the top, and remove the center gear. The uh, drive gear the, what they jokingly call a bearing, and the output shaft. Of course, this one isn't going to go as smoothly as the one off camera that we just did. Or of course, Murphy's Law. But, for expediency, God bless the good people at Zeron. <laughs> That's a much easier way than the saw, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, a lot faster. <laughs> and that is nice and flush up there. And now, well, there's a little notch on the output shaft. And because it's all white, it's kind of hard to see. But that needs to come off as well. And that one didn't go flying across the room. Mm. Wow. All right. Now, we plug this into our handy dandy receiver, which is already on. And we take a small screwdriver and adjust what's left of that potentiometer until. Stops. No, no, no. Well, it's not wanting to be as easy as yeah. that other one. That other one you nailed right. Not yet. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Yeah. yeah. This one's a little sensitive. Yeah. a little fidgety. There we go. You just gotta stroke it right. <laughs> That's what she said. Yep. Yeah. 
and to keep it from uh, reverting, a little bit of super glue, CA glue, cyan acrylic, crazy glue, zap a gap, whatever you want to call it. Now, on the inside of the output gear is a notch where the potentiometer set. Let me get a good. That needs good. to be walled out. Move your fingernail. Yeah. That needs to be walled out yep. so that it clears what's left of that potentiometer. Hold it straight up. Hold it the other way. Like, yeah, up like that. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a good picture. Yeah, it's too white, but you guys know what we're talking about. Yeah. Well, let's go to our handy dandy drill. Now, let's see. How many rules of shop safety can I break in the next five seconds? <laughs> Really, I recommend using a vise with a uh, leather or rubber grip to hold this. Doesn't take much. High speed, it more melts its way through because mm -hmm. damn that stuff's tough. Mm-hmm. Hard plastic. Oh yeah. Hard plastic. I think I used to know a stripper by that name. <laughs> Alright. And that's good. Oh. Almost forgot. About the only thing I can complain about high-tech servos is they're a little stingy on the lube. <laughs> that they are. So a little bit of joy juice. Make everybody happy. read somewhere that aside from uh, just being physically stripped, a lack of grease is the leading cause of death of servos. So, we put lots of this wonderful silicone grease on there. And then she love you long time. Mm -hmm. Or until you plow it into a tree at 80 miles an hour. Alright, now. Let's just set that back on there. Now let's go for a spin. Round and round she goes. That is awesome. And now all we do is put our screws back in. I want to be careful with them. They're, they're stainless steel screws going into plastic, so they'll strip. They will strip faster than a drunken prom date.
we go. Job well done. Look at there. And thanks for watching.